we are live for those of you watching this after today I just wanted to give an update I wasn't able to get that video out yesterday so I am packing I've been packing and I have a basket of laundry to fold and so I thought I would just hop on here and update you guys and chat to you guys why I sat here and do this and let me see if I have the chat turned on let me know if you guys can hear me. I think some of you guys are hopping on now. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, maybe I don't have it turned on. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. All right, it should be on. Okay. Hey, Brandy. Uh, Matt, when are we coming to Pacus? Oh, no. Sorry, the dogs are playing. I don't know. Um, we never know where we're going, so we just go where the work is, where the calls are. I'm not for sure. I wish we have would have worked more in Texas than what we have, though, because I love Texas. We've been to West Texas once. So I am just getting on here, updating you guys. I had this basket of laundry to fold, so I thought I'd hop on live. I didn't get a video. I told you guys last week that I was going to do a video yesterday, jobs for wives, and I wasn't able to get that out. I'm going to get it out next Tuesday. So the plan is, is that I'm going to leave, um, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday. I'm going to leave Friday morning. So I'll drive Friday and Saturday to Pennsylvania, and then... Hopefully we have a campground by then because as of right now we don't have a campground still and um, then yeah I will be able to put up a video next Tuesday because I should be somewhat settled in so what are you guys up to today? Matt you're busy with work in Pecos is that what you're saying? Oh my gosh the dogs would pick this time to play they're so loud whenever they get to playing. Um, Hope you guys are doing good. The weather is finally good here in Oklahoma. It's still windy today. Um, I doubt I'm going to get out of here without having to drive in the wind. Um, yeah, David, are you in Pennsylvania? I told Austin I wasn't coming until it got warm. And I thought that waiting this late into April would be plenty of time. But I can't believe that it's still cold. It's been cold here in Oklahoma too though a couple days. Not not for the past couple days, but I mean cold for us for April for, for sure. Matt, I'm glad you're busy there. Um I haven't Austin worked um near Odessa. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Um yeah, Austin worked near Odessa. My brother used to also work near Odessa. Um, all around in that area chasing drilling rigs, so. What else? What else are you guys up to? Working? Who's on here? Are you guys mostly? Uh. Brandy, do you, do you want the snow? Um, those dogs are a mess, you guys. They, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but, um, these towels... <laughs> were washed uh some of them not all of them but a lot of them whenever i came home um so that they would be ready to go back in the camper whenever we left out again and i had like folded them and put them on our spare bed and i went in there yesterday and a couple weeks ago like i had noticed that um the door was pushed open we live in like this old house that we haven't remodeled and a lot of the doors don't like stay latched very good and so I just like shut the door, didn't think anything of it. I go in there yesterday to get these towels to take them to the camper that were supposed to be clean. And one of the dogs had got on the bed and pooped. And I was so mad at them. Uh, I love the snow. Yeah, I don't know. I think everybody's kind of over the snow. I don't know. You guys know that um, I... I'm really passionate about the agriculture industry and there's a lot of farmers right now the farmers in Oklahoma have been dealing with fires um, on the western side of the state 
Southwestern? It's Western, I think. Um, and then the farmers and ranchers in South Dakota got nailed with a blizzard. So I think everybody's kind of like over the snow for the year. Uh, I'm ready for spring. I thought it would more than be here by now. But, of course, it's not. It's been a weird winter. What else do you guys have going on? Oh, I was going to update you guys. So I sprayed for the stink bugs and it, it, it worked and it didn't work. So the thing with it is, um, and I use tempo if you guys didn't watch my last video, um, they, it only kills them. Like it's not a bomb that you set off. So it only kills them if they walk across it. So it did kill, kill quite a few of them. Um, and it hasn't been like a week yet so it's still potent like every day I go into the camper there's more that are dead but uh there was still some alive so that was kind of a bummer but I think like I said it's still potent so that's great and then I think after I get up there I'm just gonna like spray again because it's safe for dogs after it dries and then hopefully we can like get a hold on those things where they were like really hanging out behind the slides, I like drenched those spots. They said you only needed to like lightly mist it. I like soaked it because I just wanted, if there was like eggs or anything there, I just wanted it to be gone. So that stuff works, um, you know, better than other options, I guess. Hey, Devin. Um, but it's still not like, I almost wish there was like a bomb or something I could set off that would like kill all of them. Um, obviously not when we're living in it, that would be a little bit of a pain, but I was hoping there was going to be something like that that I could do before I left home, but that's not the suggestion that I got. So I don't know if you guys ever find anything, they'll let me know because I feel like we always end up in the Northeast and, um, we've got them um, mainly whenever we're in Ohio, but I think also in West Virginia, which we were like in the very North part of West Virginia, but they're horrible. I hate those things. And we had them like a couple years ago really bad. And then this last year in Ohio, we got them bad again. So let's see here. I think I missed. Hey, Corey, how are you? Um, what are you guys up to? Are you guys off work? I'm guessing I tried to hop on after you guys got off work. Um, a couple of you guys have messaged me about that video. I'm so sorry I didn't get it up on Tuesday. It just got too crazy, and I want it to be a good video, so I'm going to wait. Um, got up at 2 a.m., got done at 10 a.m. Nice. The night shift. Oh, I just was talking to Austin a little bit ago and um, talking about how, I far, how far I'm going to drive the first day. And I called the campground to see if I could go ahead and reserve a nightly spot. That way I kind of have like a destination in mind to keep me motivated to continue to drive. It's a long haul up there. So it's going to be two full days of driving, especially with the camper and the dogs. I swear, whenever I have the dogs, every time I stop, it takes me like 30 minutes, especially now that I have like gingham because Paisley would just like, not hardly ever need to be taken out but he needs to like play and like go to the bathroom so it takes me a lot longer I'm almost done it's my last towel you guys this is like the best way to fold laundry I feel like it's not as boring I will be safe I'm I've gotten better as I get older with being safe I used to just like drive like I used to drive from North Dakota like Watford City, North Dakota, all the way home. Um, I did that a couple times. That was like 20 hours. That was not safe. Um, hey, he is, um, he's in South Eastern PA, um, and he has been working more. Get this, of course, they have been working on Sundays. And then um, about the time I go up there, they're talking about working... <laughs> Sundays so hopefully he does get some days off though because um it's like you know on that side of the state it's so much closer to like New York which we have been to New York once but we were only there for like 
a night and we only spent one day in the city and we did a lot in one day but we didn't get to do anything for very long because we were running around trying to do everything that was back whenever we first started traveling and we didn't know what the heck we were doing but we are pretty infamous for seeing whatever we see in a day um and then also like going to dc isn't too far and so i mean like it's you know like a day you could go in a day and still drive back and forth or like drive in on a Saturday night after he got off if he had Sunday off and hang out so I'm really hoping we can go there because I've been to DC but Austin hasn't so I would really love to go there so he can see that while we're up there and then obviously like that side of Pennsylvania like we've spent a lot of time on the western side of PA so we're excited to just be like in a different area and Austin hasn't done much sightseeing, even though he's had so many days off. I think that that's probably more my thing. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, all right. I will tell him, Mario, I will tell him you said hi. Um, I will probably call him in a little bit. He's off work. Hey, thanks for that. Is it Jacob? Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully, I'm so excited like for life to get back to like more normal and um, for us to be able to like put out more videos. And poor Austin has been editing his videos like on his iPhone. He has so much more patience than me because I don't think I would be able to do that. Um, but he will be able to do that on my computer now. Plus, learn how to edit our vlogs to help me out. Um, so that hopefully we can like put stuff out more often. We're really excited. And then we are still going to try to do that course that we've um, talked about on Austin's website, the branch course later on this year. So we're going to try really hard. Um, oh, awesome, Ashley. I didn't know. I don't think they told me you guys went to D. No, maybe they did. Yes, they did, Ashley, because... Um, I had told Austin about DC and I was so excited and he wasn't like that thrilled and then after Sam went he was as you guys know Sam is uh, Austin's helper and Ashley is his wife that just hopped on here but then Austin was like oh yeah we should go to DC Sam was talking about it and it was so cool and I was like yeah I already told you that <laughs> you know it's always cooler whenever a buddy has done it not whenever your wife is talking about it so I'm glad you guys had fun uh, all right, do you guys have any more questions? Like I said, um, yes, guys, right? Uh, I am going to try packing one more day tomorrow. Gonna try, I was gonna try to get done tonight and leave in the morning, but that would have left me like running around like crazy and my old self would have done that just to like get gone, but I'm trying to be like smarter as I get older and you know, make this lifestyle like work for us instead of make it like rule our lives, so to speak. And so, um, I'm taking one more day so that I can like not only get the camper in order, but also get the house in order. The camper is like in order in the sense that like everything's been taken out there for the most part, but it's also just like really unorganized because as I showed you guys last week, I think it was, um, I'm changing a lot of things, which I have to go buy at Ikea. And so... The, like the stuff I'm putting in the camper since I took all this stuff out and left it at the house it's in boxes so like literally half the stuff I've taken in the camper is just setting in boxes so that's not ideal but it'll be worth it whenever it's all put together and like not as cluttered as what it has been a couple years ago whenever we lived in the camper full-time and didn't have a house back home we had like everything, not everything that we owned, but we had so much stuff in the camper because we felt like we didn't want to put it in storage and that just left the camper like so cluttered and um, the only time it wasn't cluttered was like if I left with all my office stuff and the dogs and all the dog stuff and so I was just like I'm over feeling like the walls are closing in so we took a lot of stuff out whenever we got here this last... Um, when did we get home? Like end of October, I think like right before Halloween, um, beginning in November. And then I've even taken more stuff out, um, as I'm like putting stuff in. So I'm like, if we don't have to have it, I'm not taking it. Uh, I think I missed a comment. 
Rebecca said, please make a video on how you pack to go on the road. Uh, what do you mean, like, how I pack the camper, what I pack, like, for the overnight part of my trip? Can you be more specific? I would love to make videos like that to help you guys. I just don't know. It's interesting because I remember the first, like, years of pipeline life so vividly that like I can help and I can give tips and I can say what I would have done differently and all this stuff but as far as like specific videos sometimes I blank on like exactly what would have helped me um, but if somebody asks I'm like oh yeah I can do a video about that so if you guys ever have um, Rebecca are you still on here let me know um, what what you're talking about if you guys ever have like video requests send them to us because that helps us help you guys and that's what we want to do how you pack your camper and things you bring okay um i will do that i mean some of our vlogs have that stuff in there i reorganized a lot of the camper the closet the bathroom and i think the kitchen last fall and so those videos are on our channel if you like go back and look at videos and then as far as like how we pack it to travel those have been in other vlogs but I am planning to vlog um, maybe not tomorrow but definitely like my trip up there so I can show you guys the camper I took everything out from like some people call it the un underbelly some people call it the basement um, and so I took everything out and I was able to clean out a bunch of stuff, put it back in, and then I also fit the rails for our porch. As you guys know, we haven't been traveling with those. A lot of you guys will know that. But Gingham, now that he's older, I do not trust him to stay on that porch. And so if we're able to put it down, I wanted to have the rails for it. It's just such a horrible design. We got our camper is a 2013, and the porches. That were that was like kind of the first like couple years that the porches were put on campers and so the rails like you take off and they're separate and they're probably whenever they're all stacked together I don't know they're good six to eight inches I would say by like I don't remember how long they are and there's four of them and so our underbelly isn't like super deep or our basement and they take up a ton of room so we haven't been traveling with them because Paisley would stay on the porch but Gingham he is a wild card and I do not trust him so I was able to fit him in there which I'm really excited about um, so I can show you guys how I organized that too because I did reorganize it but let me see I think I missed a question um, I was clueless the first month on the road with my husband and toddler. Are you guys in, I'm guessing you're in a camper then? Yeah, it's, man, you guys, that's why I'm telling you guys to send me video ideas because, like I said, I can answer the questions. I just can't always remember, like, exactly um, what my questions would have been specifically because I had so many. Like, whenever we first started, I was so lost about so much stuff for the first, like, two years. It was, like... I don't even think we were faking it until we made it. I think we just didn't know what the heck we were doing. Um, it was rough. What part of PA? It's um, the southeastern part of PA. Um, and so we don't talk about um, lo specific location. Um, that is for like security purposes. And uh, we ask that if anybody, you know, sees us please say hi but we don't like talking um location specifics uh just general area we are wanting to do a in the general area we are wanting to do like a dinner of some type to meet up with those of you guys that are up there we were going to try to do one in oklahoma about the time we were going to schedule it austin got called to leave so we want to, we know there's a lot of people up in the area that he's in. So we want to do one of those and we will set a date for that and start talking about it whenever we get up there. And so I hope you guys, some of you guys that are up there will be able to come because I, there's quite a few of you, I think that are in that area from what I can tell. And that would just be amazing to meet in person and you guys could meet each other and we want it to be like a networking event. We talked about that in a past video you guys may have seen, but um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I can't decide if we should do like a dinner, if we should do it on Sunday, Saturday night. I don't know. We have to work out the specifics, but 
we're really excited to do that so we can meet some of you guys and so you guys can network with each other that are within I don't know I figure like an hour or two radius people might come in so that would be really fun all right guys I have kept you guys for 20 minutes you know I could talk all day Austin's not gonna be surprised whenever I tell him that I talked for 20 minutes <laughs> so thank you guys for keeping me company while I folded my laundry I'm gonna put the stuff that's in the house in the cabinets in the house and I'm gonna take the ones that go to the camper out to the camper and continue to pack a little bit more uh, probably until dark and whenever I say pack I mean move stuff around I got stuff going every which way thanks Ashley I will drive safe uh, hopefully it won't be too windy that's what I'm hoping for uh, uh, I'm sorry I don't know we sometimes like lose messages and contacts that's why we're wanting to do that dinner since we can't always meet up with you guys individually um, so we can like see everybody and be able to talk for a good like I don't know four hours or so so we really want to do that and we do plan on doing that whenever I get up there so I will make it a point because like I said I know a lot of you guys are up in that area so also, I'm getting industrial tradition stuff together. We're changing a couple things before I leave so it's easier for um, the people who are helping me pack, which is primarily my brother. Thank God for brothers. Um, and so I might vlog that before I leave too so you guys can see the updates on how we're doing like shipping and whatnot. So, all right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are great. New video on next Tuesday that I was supposed to put out this week about jobs to do on the road. Uh, I have a good idea where you, eh, let's see here. Awesome, we would love to meet up with you guys too. Um, maybe we need to, we need to talk, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> um, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are great. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I have been doing a lot of Instagram stories and I will on my way up there. So if you guys are on Instagram, please follow me there if you're interested. All right, guys, until next time, we love you. Be grateful, work hard, and have fun. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.